Have you ever been working on something, perhaps a launch, new content, or even a live broadcast, and nothing seems to be going your way? As a business owner or entrepreneur, I'm sure we all have. The worst part is most of these frustrations and roadblocks are out of our control, especially if we're working with a lot of technology or even team members. In this video, I've teamed up with Emerald Barnes from Sweet Art Beauty to tell you how to avoid losing sight of your vision when aspects of your business or life aren't where you'd like them to be, as well as our tips to keep moving forward. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because I've got a free positivity package that's going to help you master your mindset and stay on track. The first thing to do is let it out and walk away. As business owners, entrepreneurs, and just as human beings in general, it's easy to forget that at times there will be things that we come across in business and in life that are out of our control. If you're trying to get something done, perhaps a launch, a live chat, or even just creating content, and it's not working, don't keep your feelings of frustration bottled up while attempting to turn your wheels over and over again. Instead, allow yourself to feel what you're feeling because your higher self will know that this is something that will eventually be corrected. Accept that something is out of your control or just isn't working and then take a step back. Throw on a podcast, watch an inspiring TED talk, or crank up your favorite music. You might just be surprised by how much clarity comes when you give yourself enough time to walk away and shake it off. The next thing I want you to do is remember why you started. The worst thing you can do is make decisions when you're upset or not feeling at your best. When you've taken some time to step back and shake off your feelings of frustration, try looking over your goals and aspirations and perhaps a vision board you've created. Reflecting on the intentions you've set for yourself at a time where you were most likely feeling at your best is literally repellent for any feelings of negativity. One thing I've started to do recently is write down my wins in a notebook on my desk at the end of every week. And that way, whenever I'm feeling stuck or like I'm not getting anywhere, I can look back and see that I've actually achieved a lot more than I'm giving myself credit for. And that is a huge mood booster. Our third tip is to call on a friend. Chances are someone else has gone through whatever you're going through or feeling to some extent. Reach out to your people. Whether you choose to ask for advice in an online community or forum, chat with a mentor or phone a friend, talking through your feelings with someone outside of the situation can not only be relaxing, but it can bring you the clarity you need to get back at it. As soon as you know you're not alone, it's always easier to shift back to thinking positively and being productive. Now it's time to be realistic. It can be tempting to try and change everything in your life ASAP. You might say to yourself, this week I'm gonna write that book, reply to all of my emails, write 30 blog posts, and fill up my editorial calendar until the end of 2017. But trying to reach all of your goals at the same time is a recipe for disaster. You'll likely end up not reaching any or all of your goals, which will make you feel even worse. The key to staying on track and having a positive mindset is recognizing your limits, energy, and resources, and then planning accordingly. The fifth step in mastering your mindset is to manage your environment. You've resolved to finish a huge project by midnight, but instead of sitting down to focus, you turn on your TV, scroll through Instagram, or browse Facebook. I know how it feels because I've been there many times but experience has shown that our environment influences our ability to succeed. The next time you're feeling like watching TV or reading the latest magazine when you have an assignment or project due, stop and remind yourself of what really matters. Think ahead and by doing so, you can identify time wasters and create an environment that will help you stay positive throughout your entire project. Our final tip is to look to the future. It's so easy to get caught up thinking about how many times we've fallen short, but what counts in the end is not how many times we fall, but how many times we get back up. If a project isn't working out, don't feel despair. A setback is not a permanent failure. Setbacks are normal and will continue to happen as you work to achieve something and grow. Just remember to focus on the things that you've done right. 
For example, if you didn't land a job or a certain client, think about where you went right to improve for next time. Did you overcome a certain fear to secure that meeting or interview? If you focus on the times things went right, you'll be able to maintain your positive focus for whatever you've set out now and for the future. There you have it. You now have our six tips for staying positive in business and in life. But if you wanna to totally master your mindset and ward off any feelings of negativity, click the link in the description box to download your free positivity package now. If you'd like a bonus tip for staying positive, head over to my blog. The link is also below. You can find Emerald Barnes at Sweetheart Beauty and all of her social media information in the description box below too. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. What's up, Audrey? And I forgot what I was going to say.